In today's video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to trade tokens on the base layer two blockchain. Now, in order to do this, there's three basic steps. First of all, you need to get an Ethereum wallet that is compatible with the base blockchain. So you can use something like MetaMask, you can use the Coinbase wallet, and you can use other wallets as well. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using the MetaMask wallet. But another popular wallet, especially for trading on the base network, would be the Coinbase wallet because it has that built-in integration. But regardless of which Ethereum wallet you're using, the process is going to be approximately the same. Okay, step number two, before you can start buying and selling tokens on base, is that you need to get ETH onto the base network. Now there's a number of different layer twos, and here on my wallet you can see that I've already set up a couple of different networks, including Arbitrum, Optimism, Matic, and also Base. So in order to trade on base, you need to have ETH on base. And you can see that my wallet here has 0.01 ETH. And the important thing to mention here is that the actual wallet address, the series of letters and numbers that identifies your crypto wallet is exactly the same regardless of which network you're on. It's just a different network with the same wallet. So once you have a wallet like MetaMask, you can use the exact same address for all of the different networks. Now, when it comes to getting ETH from say the mainnet onto the base layer two, the best way to do that is by using a bridge. And I have a previous tutorial that shows you exactly how you can get ETH from the mainnet onto the base net. And once you have some ETH in your wallet in the correct network, which is in this case base, then you're ready to go. And we need to find a trading app that's gonna allow us to buy and sell different tokens on base. Now, sometimes a wallet will offer a built-in swap feature. So for example, on MetaMask, there is a swap button right here, but it's grayed out because they haven't enabled that functionality for the base network, I guess, because it's too new. Regardless, sometimes you're gonna pay higher fees if you do an in-wallet swap with something like MetaMask uh, or other wallets as well. So it's better to go to an actual decentralized exchange. Now, the most popular one is Uniswap. And on Uniswap, you can buy and sell basically any different token that you can imagine that's built upon the Ethereum ecosystem. And you can also trade these tokens on the various different layer twos. Now, Uniswap has integrated the base network. So you go to the top right hand corner here after you've connected your wallet and you select which network you wanna trade on, in this case base, and then you can choose which token you want to buy and sell. Once you've selected the network, and you've selected which token you want to buy. So let's say I want to buy DAI, which is a stable coin. You can make the trade right here. Now, I'm not gonna do this trade because I'm actually gonna use a different app. I'm going to use the Slingshot app. Now, the reason why I like this exchange as opposed to Uniswap is that Uniswap's already completed their airdrop and there's really no chance of getting an additional future airdrop. However, Slingshot has not yet done an airdrop and there has been some speculation that they might do one at some point in the future. So by doing trades on this decentralized exchange as opposed to another one, there is that additional potential upside. So this is where I'm gonna make my, my trade. Now, you can see that these are the different networks they're offering. I'm going to select the base network and I'm gonna choose a token that I want to trade into. Now, you can see there's a number of different tokens here and they're offering a lot more what I would call coins than you were seeing on the pop-up screen on Uniswap. However, I'm just gonna trade a little bit of ETH for a little bit of USDC, which is the US dollar stable coin, just so you can see how the process works. So you select which token you're trading from and which token you're trading to, and you select what amount you wanna trade. So you can either do that by selecting how much ETH you wanna trade for USDC, or you can select, for example, how much USDC you wanna get and it'll tell you how much ETH you need to exchange in order to receive that. So let's say I wanna swap into five USDC. I'm gonna hit review swap, and then I'm gonna to have to confirm and pay a very small gas fee for this transaction because it's a layer two and not on the ETH mainnet. So once we swap, it's gonna pop up in the wallet saying that I have to confirm, and you can see that the gas fee is costing basically one penny. So I'll confirm that transaction, and it should go through in a couple of seconds. There you go, it's done. Now you can see that I received 4.99 USDC instead of the five USDC that I was supposed to get. And that is because of something called slippage. Now I won't get into that right now because it's a slightly more complex topic, but as long as you're trading into a pair that has high liquidity and with something like ETH and USDC, it's pretty good. The slippage was a very, very tiny fraction of the total amount. 
you should be okay. However, if you're trading into a pair with low liquidity, it's possible that you could actually lose a pretty significant amount of your capital through slippage. Anyways, there you have it. Now I have five USDC. You can see, you know, the, the price chart for this is stable at a dollar because it's supposed to be a stable coin. You can see my position size right here. However, if I go into my MetaMask account, you'll notice that it's not popping up here. Now there's a couple of ways that you can fix this. It doesn't mean that there was an error and that you didn't actually get the token that you're trying to swap into. It just means that this web browser extension wallet isn't showing it right now because you have to import the token somehow. And there's two ways you can do that. You can import it manually by hitting on this button or you can go down here to the block explorer and through this, you'll be able to add the token automatically to your wallet by hitting on the token and then hitting this three little dots right here and clicking add token to Web3 wallet. And this will work for pretty much any Web3 wallet that you're using. So once I add the token there, I'll now go back to MetaMask and you can see that it shows up here. So on the blockchain, these transactions are irreversible. And you know once you've completed the transaction, those five USDC are guaranteed to be in the wallet. However, this is just essentially a way of looking at what is recorded on the blockchain. And sometimes you just have to make sure to add the different assets into the wallet so that you can see it all in one place in a nice, easy and convenient way. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If I wanted to swap back from USDC into ETH, I could just hit this little arrow button here, toggle that and then hit max and I would be able to do that. Or I could just continue swapping from USDC into other tokens. You know, the sky is the limit and really whatever you do is depending on what your risk tolerance is and how often you wanna be making trades and such. So there you have a very basic tutorial on how to buy and sell tokens on the base network. Hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.